my honeys welcome back to my channel i have another video for you guys using the sweet oasis palette from morphe these clips might look familiar because they are they're from the first video that i uploaded using this palette definitely go check out that video but for today we have a valentine's day inspired makeup look for you guys obviously more on the glam side um, i will be uploading more videos for you guys for valentine's day i actually have two more looks that i want to upload that are more wearable and another one that's more like super sexy and like smoked out <laughs> so the first thing you guys like you guys saw i'm going into yacht life and i'm applying it right in the crease and blending it back and forth into the inner and outer corner I did go into a more smaller detailed brush and then I switched over to the Morphe M433. Absolutely clean with no product just to blend out those harsh lines. I did go into the smaller detailed brush because I want to keep it right in the crease. Um, and then I want to go into the shade called Hibiscus Blossom with that Morphe M433 to really blend out those harsh lines. As you guys can see here, it kind of looks washed out, which is okay because I always like to go back and forth between Yacht Life and Hibiscus Blossom um, to build up the intensities, but as well as not losing um, either of both colors. Um, next, I'm gonna go into the shade called Vineyard Escape. And once again, going back to that small Morphe detailed brush, I will list everything that I used in today's video down below. You guys already know the drill with that. Um, but I'm going to be focusing this towards the outer corner of my eye and then with whatever I have left I do start to bring it into the inner corner to make it a little bit darker um, You guys can totally stop at the two shades that we first use and you don't have to use this darker shade But you know me, I want to make it a little bit more darker um, And then I just, I just, I just switch over to the um, Morphe M433 brush with um, more of that vineyard escape shade and to apply some more and then continue to go back into yacht life to blend both of them until I am completely satisfied with the outcome that I have. Um, the key is just to blend you guys layer and blend and take your time of course. Um, now it's time to create that half cut crease. You guys already know the drill with that. I go into my Urban Decay Eden Primer and just pray to Jesus that they both match. <laughs> the brush, you guys, that I'm using is from Jaw Cosmetics, which I will link her Instagram and her website down below where you can purchase these concealer brushes. This is, I believe, number two. Uh, she has three of them. Um, it's one, two, and three. And one is like bigger, medium, and small. I am going to be doing a dedicated video for you guys um, next um, using some goodies that they sent over. But I really want to tell you guys that these concealer brushes to create cut creases or have cut creases are so bomb. I <laughs> really, really love them. Um, you guys know that I love to create half cut creases and having a good brush, you guys, is a must um, when creating these types of looks um to cut the crease next i'm going to go back into that morphe m433 and picking up more of that shade called vineyard escape since we did use that to darken up the outer corner um and i'm just going to pat that shade um towards that outer corner you guys and just really press the product into the eyes um, you can definitely go into the shade called yacht life instead and then go back into vineyard escape but since we went ahead and already applied that um, darker shade in the outer corner, I just decided to go with that instead. Um, then I'm going to go into Love Struck. It's a nice light baby pink and we're going to apply this all over our lid. Now the lights you guys that I use are really bright. So off camera, this baby pink is so freaking pretty. It's so cute. Um, and I think that this look is like perfect for Valentine's Day because we have all the, you know, darker pinks, baby pinks, and I was actually not even going to film this for you guys for YouTube. I only wanted it for Instagram, but I got a few messages from you guys and you really wanted me to film this because it really inspired you by Valentine's Day. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this look for you guys today on my channel. Um, so I'm taking the MAC 266 and I'm just, I got it wet with some setting spray and I'm going back into Yacht Life to create an eyeliner. If you guys didn't know this trick, I feel like it's like the best whenever you don't want to use black or brown liquid eyeliners. I love to use eyeshadow and it just matches and goes really well together. Um, like I said, you don't have to do this. You can definitely skip out and um, go in with like what you normally go in with, a black or a brown. 
um, but I feel like this photograph's really pretty and it just gives you more Valentine's Day-ish vibe. <laughs> Um, and then for the outer corner, you guys, wherever the liner stops, I do like to go back into that nice detailed brush, picking up some more of um, Vineyard Escape to set that, and that way it just all blends in. Um, next, to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to go into the shade called Just Us 2 um, with this pencil brush, and I really like that highlight. Isn't it pretty? It's like so blinding. <laughs> um, so for the face products, you guys, I, I wasn't going to film this video, like I said, so... I just decided to start doing my skin, but I didn't show you what products I'm using. Um, so if I remember, I will link them down below, but I think I did, my primer of course was the e.l.f. one. Um, for foundation, I went into NARS, um, and I think it's the shade Fiji. And then, as you guys are noticing, I'm not using a makeup brush. I let that, you know, take a little break, and I'm going into this camo sponge from e.l.f. Um, but I'll be honest, I think I kind of like this um, sponge to blend out my concealer and cream products instead of for foundation. I think because it's just very um, squishy and it's very light, I personally feel like it's not covering up my imperfections, but yet it doesn't give you a very heavy coverage. You guys already know that I love full coverage. Um, so for me, I think that's why I feel like the sponge was too light, but if that's something that you guys like and you don't like full coverage with your foundation, then you will definitely like applying it with the camo um, sponge from e.l.f. Um, concealer, just going into the Benefit Boing and applying it in the areas where I normally do. Um, for cream contour, I'm going to go into the Fenty Concealer and I'm using the same brush that I always use. You can also use a makeup sponge if you want to apply a cream contour. I just personally feel that when you use a brush, it just feels better. I don't know. It kind of looks more blended. And it's like you're applying your normal regular bronzer, except you're going in with creams. And I feel like a brush just blends it out a lot better than a sponge does. Um, once again, just my personal opinion. Um, and this concealer, you guys, is so good. I love it. Um, since I did go a little bit too low on my cream contour, I always go back into my sponge to fix that. Um, so that's always a nice thing to do if you feel like your cream contour went too low. Um, and then, of course, just blending out my concealer um, with that same e.l.f. camo um, sponge. And like I said, I definitely like it way better to blend out my concealer um, I just don't know what it is. I'm just really obsessed with this sponge. If you guys have not gotten your hands on this, um, you need to like go to Target or Walmart like ASAP. <laughs> it is really good. I love it. I can't go without it now to use it to blend out my concealer. It's like the first thing that pops into my head that I have to go out and get um, whenever I'm going to do a full face of makeup. Um, with concealer too you guys i am more on the lighter side so right now i'm just using a more lighter shade of a concealer and this concealer is really nice it's not heavy it's very lightweight um and it's a really good concealer in my opinion if you don't want like a heavy coverage under your eyes um and then i'm just gonna go back into that same brush that we used to cream contour and just buff out the lines it has no product i'm just using with whatever is left on the brush and then to cream contour my nose, you guys, I'm just going to go back into that same Fenty concealer and I believe I'm using a MAC 217 brush. And all I do is honestly just do two lines going straight down my nose and then I do apply some product going up towards the brows. Um, and then I just go back into that e.l.f. sponge to blend out those harsh lines because my cream contour on my nose, I like it to look nice and like blended and soft. Um, next, going into my favorite powder of all time, the One Size Translucent Powder to set the areas where we placed the concealer. Uh, you guys already know that I love this powder so much. It really gives me a nice airbrush look and it just like soaks into the skin very nicely. Um, you guys already know the drill with that. I always overhype it, but it really is really good. <laughs> Next, going into this Cara Beauty. This is a bronzer palette, um, and I love this bronzer palette too from Cara Beauty. I think it's like $14, which I think is not a bad price point. Um, and I think I'm using a Morphe brush. I am taking a little bit of the bronzer into the eyeshadow, so that way it blends in really well with the temple with my temples um because i do apply bronzer there as you guys can see um and yeah check out that bronzer you guys it's not shimmery it's really nice and matte 
um, and I feel like it gives a really good um, product payoff. Um, again, using some more Cara Beauty products, their blush palette, and a girl loves some blush. <laughs> Next, just taking this over cosmetic brush to dust away whatever I have left of the powder on my face and just to set the entire um, face. Um, next, I'm going to go back into the Yacht Life shade, and you guys already know that with whatever we have on top of the eye, I love to bring it down, um, and I do go very low, lower than I normally, you know, would like to, but I just love a really good smoked out under eye. <laughs> you guys can definitely tone it down. You don't have to go as low as I am. Taking this magic pencil from Nabla Cosmetics in the shade Nude, I'm going to apply this in my waterline. Um, for mascara, I'm going to go into the Roller Lash from Benefit, and that's pretty much it, you guys, for today's look. I forgot to mention what lip product I'm using, but I will list it down below for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Remember, I have more Valentine's Day looks for you guys coming very, very soon. I love you guys. Besitos, cuídense mucho, and I'll see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye!